Hello YouTube and welcome back in to some Let's Play Civilization 6. Let's, um, sh we should probably take a minute to plan other cities. Uh, and this is a good opportunity to talk about what I look for in cities, what you should too. Um, this city, don't ever settle this city. As you can see, all of our, all of our tiles here in the red, we already own, right? So these cities will have access to it. And then all that's left is a bunch of flat floodplains. Uh, bad with any sieve, especially bad with Molly. Um, not something I'd consider settling at all. Um, down here, you could make an argument that a coastal fits in right, right nice here. Uh, picking up a new luxury there, picking up a new luxury there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five productive tiles. Uh, theoretically, not too bad. Possibility of a harbor uh, if you wanted to go that. Again, not really something we want to do with Mansa Musa, uh, but decent. Um, there's a St. Basil's down here. You could commit to that if you wanted, uh, with, with this, with just having enough, um, Tundra to make it all happen. Plus also have like the growth. Like if you wanted to have a, a, uh, St. Basil city, I wouldn't fault you for just plopping it right there. Um, it won't get a good holy site, which is, which is a bit of a bummer cause that'll make our Sagubas great. Um, so really with our, with our first like four cities, we want them to have good holy sites. So we could settle this eventually, but it probably won't be early on. Um, we could also come up here and settle this, still pick up the cotton, um, and then have a better, like, holy site Saguba combo going on, potentially with another city over there. Um, so, yeah. Can, uh, can ziggurats go in, in uh, floodplains? I guess it makes sense that they can. I, I always forget that. Need coastal harbors for international trade routes and big money. Yeah, that's true. Well, we've got already uh, two, two trade partners, though. So, you know, I think it's okay. Great Zimbabwe here. Uh, no, Zimbabwe, you want to look for bonus resources, right? So, like, the double cotton doesn't help at all. Um, yeah, technically possible, but, like, only two bonuses here. So, not all that, not, not all that crazy. Um, so, I wonder if we settle this, we do pick up the uh, tobacco. So let's take a look at that for a second. And then maybe settle like this oasis to pick up like more olives, theoretically productive later on, not choppable, but lumber mills um, and a cotton. This is a pretty weak city, but it would synergize well up here, I believe. Is there anywhere else we get tobacco? We there has to be tobacco on this whole freaking map. I I, I don't think I'm gonna settle this city. I think the city kind of stinks. Um, so I think I'd rather settle it up. Pick up these tiles. Overlapping desert doesn't matter. Pick up the double cotton. Some amount of productive tiles. This city doesn't totally suck. It blocks pretty much the St. Basil's. I don't really care about St. Basil's too much. Um, and then theoretically, like, another one here. Again, like, these aren't great cities. Uh, and it's going to make make playing Monsa Musa feel even worse. Uh, just because we're, we are going to lack all that production. This is super awkward for um, what if we did this pretty much the same city misses out on this one productive tile, which is a bit of a bummer, um, but it might work out better for districting. I think it does. Works out a lot better, actually. Still not a fantastic holy site in this city. But we do get to do this. And have them take a part of it. So the Oasis City a bit closer to the Natural Wonder to take advantage of it. The problem with that is if we settle like on this side, for example, what tiles are you working? We steal a Petra tile, and then what tiles are you working? 
You'll have access to one lumber mill and one plantation and one farm. That's awful. Versus at least down here, I can turn these into lumber mills later. Get a, get a farm triangle maybe. Like at least allow them to grow and stuff. Um, I, I think that's just overall a worse city. In fact, the thing that I would consider doing is actually settling the olives and getting an aqueduct there. Um, but there's not really a lot of point in doing that because I don't really gain a lot, which is a bit of a bummer. This is bad. God, our land is actually pretty terrible. But you get that with desert. Yeah, I think that's it. I think I'm just settling these five cities. I don't think this is worth settling. Like in a in a uh, like a, a tourism game, you could settle this later on and get like a couple seaside resorts. Potentially. If you could get a district there, I guess, but I think you can aqueduct from an oasis. I believe so. I don't do it that often, so I guess I'm not totally sure, but. Is it better to just move the city back here then? Since I can do both of these up there. Probably. Would Zanz Zanzibar have to be before I consider taking over? Nothing. I wouldn't touch Zanzibar in this game. Uh, Zanzibar, especially because we don't have a lot of amenities, we don't have a continent split, them turning our bonus resource into amenities is great, not to mention uh, commercial cities, states synergizing with our Sagubas. I, would, I, I, would, I wouldn't touch them. I would never take them over. Not in a game like this. All right, so I guess that's fine. And we need one, two, three settlers. Uh, and then from there, we're going north. And we're probably just looking to settle whatever cities we feel like are going to be good for us. So certainly a city in there, certainly a city in there. And then maybe later on, like a city up here. Like these cities are actually a little bit, little bit better. They, 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 they flirt with that line of like, hey, we can be in the desert and get our desert bonuses, but also there are productive tiles here. We're not really experiencing that a lot. Like there's one hill that we're giving up, actually two, I guess. So maybe the city is worth settling, but they don't really get a Saguba. This could be our coastal, I suppose. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I almost like I almost like this better just from the standpoint. Yeah, I, I don't mind settling the cotton, sure, the plantations, housing, and, and more gold. But I honestly like this city just because it picks up it does actually pick up the tobacco and it does pick up that tile. And I don't really think there's a, 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 a drawback to settling it. Sure, there's some tundra in there, but you can make a mine, it's fine. They suck anyways. Job of the job of the hut, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. So does that mean I want to get a settler now or we should be doing something else? Uh, we only need two more era score. We haven't even triggered the end of the era. So actually going to currency is probably a bad idea. Um, we could go find some iron. We can go right to uh, that. We could actually find animal husbandry. That, that, that could change some of our thoughts. It's not going to change any of this because horses can't spawn on desert. Uh, but it might it might incentivize us to, to, to make a different settle down here or something like that. So why don't we go find horses? I don't think we're going to need the era score from currency. We only need two more. Uh, and I can always run projects. In fact, running projects seems like a good idea. Although, again, I don't really want to outpace the era. I do want to outpace Hungary, but I don't want to... I, I don't have to be the first one there, really. And no one else is working on them. So I think first thing we do is buy the trader. Have your money turn into more money. Uh, and then I'm actually going to build the granary first, then the monument, and then probably a builder while we get to early empire. Although that's one thing too many. So maybe granary, monument, and then s crank out a couple of my other settlers. It seems okay. Pop two, working those two tiles. I agree. But barb camp over here, that should get cleared by Zanzibar. We also have our era score for the era um, that we need just right sitting right in front of us. And I want to send this to Kamasi. For the uh, quest. Plus, hopefully stealing tiles from Japan. Haha, <laughs> take that, Japan. All right. And then, as promised, 
a new population that is not especially good, especially as Mansa Musa. So we'll just kind of move along with our lives. Boy. Work that, I think. I'll let them just expand to that and work the next one on their own. <laughs> so I think we're going to debate. Let's, um, let's clear this camp a little bit easier. I'm going to buy a slinger, bait it out with this, and then have our scout clear the camp. Scout or warrior, depending. Because it's going to be nasty to actually like beat down this camp with the uh, with the quadrim. So I want to I want to do that a little tricksy. We'll be a little tricksy hobbit. Oh, oh, that's just more Matthias. Okay. Okay. I am still researching currency. Why am I doing that? Thank you. We want the granary here because we have so much food. We're about to get housing capped uh, and making that food work for us is still better than not. Maybe, maybe he just keeps the quad distracted while our warrior clears it. We'll see. Hmm. I guess he was eager to get that settle even with bar barbs around. Nope. My Diplo favor. Yep. How I always play deity. Oh, I didn't put in did I put in the barb strength? Oh, I did. Okay, good. It's like I meant to do that. Ah. Uh, Try to be friendly. Sure. He's got Stonehenge and Holy Sight, so he wants faith. All right, second Holy Sight. Oh. Um, so I could kill this now. I actually don't need the era score, I don't think. Let's do that. And this guy's just going to spend his whole life healing. Let's try to get around him. Where are you going with that settler, dude? So Monsa, he even though he was the one earning points, or no, he is still earning points. Okay, I thought he would, didn't. Wasn't he done with Stonehenge or no? Oh, he's building it. He's just building it. All right, let's go ahead and do what? Monument Shrine. Again, you just kind of got to eat it. Like we know that this is at a at a loss or whatever, um, but we still it still has to get done. <laughs> Steal the settler. I can't from his city center, but we'll see. Where's it gonna go? Okay, it's going that way. That's fine. I'd rather have him go this way and like provoke Japan and have them leave me alone while I can gobble up this land. What up, Muffin? How you doing, bud? It's good to see you. <laughs> what a map. Okay. Hope I get the first merchant. I should. It's a bummer that we're not going to get Hypatia, but we'll deal with that later. If there are no dogs in heaven. 
Horses. Hey, okay. Doesn't change anything down here. So, like, no horses there, there. Did find one in our cap. That's pretty good. And that is it, it looks like. One source of horses. Pros and cons is playing for America. Good late game tourism sieve. Strong uh, early sieve that with the five combat strength that can like establish you on your continent, which is nice. Um, cons are no real economy bonuses, no real adjacency bonus stuff, anything like that. Um, and a really late in the game unique unit that usually going to feel pre pretty irrelevant. How does one secure religion? You just got to beeline it right away. Like starting with astrology on deity is the only way you really get a religion. So we have eight turns on the era and eight turns on currency. So we can actually make those happen at the same time. We can also go for mining really quick. Uh, but I would like to start our Saguba uh, right away. And I don't want to get all that. That's too much era score. Remember, managing your era scores uh, diligently as Monsamuse is really good because every time you get one, you get that international trade route, uh, which is a big deal. So there's that. Thanks, Muffin. I appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. I, I I feel undeserving of all the love and support I've gotten, but uh, it's it's certainly certainly good to get back today for sure. Thank you for your support as well, my friend. It's almost having like free food in this city would be nice. I don't know. I'm still kind of thinking we're going to hit one more era score randomly. It was luxuries like air conditioning that brought down the Roman. So two turns on this. Let's go look for that last random era score. Looks like that uh, open borders is going to be good. Is this continents or something? I don't remember. Thought it was just Pangea. Let's try to be friendly. Um. I can go through his lands. So I could go tech mysticism. We just probably hard tech through craftsmanship. I don't have a lot to do with my tiles at the moment. Um, the reason we could tech mysticism is just to take the Kumasi era score and have it be two to finish this off versus the three of this. Uh, it's pretty minor difference, obviously, but something to consider. We do need to get this last point one way or another. Japan has started his holy sites. Somebody's really crushing. This is either Korea or Scotland, I believe, with that many great people points already. And our first governor. Okay, so this is an interesting choice as well. Um, obviously, the, t the traditional governors are good, but Magnus is actually not nearly as good as he normally is, especially with the fact to uh, the fact that you get to recoup your settlers with the free the free uh, free food in your city centers, uh, like we have in our capital. Um, I've also been debating even going provision on Magnus in some of our games lately. Um, I really think that the, that his bread and butter is the chops, and frankly, our chops, unless they're for wonders, aren't that good. Um, so I don't think starting with him is the way I want to go. I'm probably going to start with just a Reyna. Um, starting with Reyna, tile acquisition, extra trade route stuff, doubling our like plus seven Suguba helps us start to ramp our gold right away. Uh, we don't have any improved tiles, so forestry management is reasonable. Tax collector will be great in the long run. And then certainly contractor, roting, uh, rotating Reyna around and buying districts feels awful good. Um, but certainly the first couple promotions will be rather nice. Uh, we could also take a Mani and grab that Suzerain if we wanted to. Um, but I think I, I, I like the Reyna start. I think we're going to be able to find this last era score. Again, worst case scenario, we can just grab this. Unless his uh, scout grabs it and then we'll feel super bad. 
Take Monty Mattel for your golden ages and Magnus better choice to spawn settlers. Just don't think the two promotions is worth it. Not not when we have four free food in our cap. No, I don't like Divine Architect. I like the uh, I like the gold buying way better than the faith buying. Your gold economy is going to be more sick than your faith economy uh, most of the time. I think we're hard tech through craftsmanship. Hey, Art. How you doing, buddy? Really need to meet that third city state. And then I think we hard tech craftsmanship. I'm a ways away from buying anything. I don't have a ton to do with it anyways. Policies, policies, policies. Nah, it's all fine. All right, I probably do need to clear this before him. So all we really need to do is this. And then I'll just block his movement over the river. There's another camp up here. He'll probably clear it before I even have a chance. There's that settler. He's got four cities and he's about to get his fifth already. It's turned 38. That's crazy. All right, six turns on the era. This will be our last era score. Ha uh ha. -huh. Ooh, the double. Oh, uh, please don't kill me. I think we I think we're healthy enough to survive too. But how many cities am I gonna try to settle? Uh my general recommend this game is a little different than most, uh, but my general recommendation is try to spend your first hundred turns expanding your empire. Um, so getting to, uh, I, I tend to recommend 8 to 12 cities per game, uh, 12 being much more ideal. Um, and so you should have pretty much all those down um, before turn 100. Look at Divine Architect as cost benefit if you aren't going religious, when blah, 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 blah. So the re I talked about this earlier in the beginning of the stream when you're doing the preamble. Uh, the reason I don't like Moksha as much as I like Reyna for Mansa Musa is none of these other abilities give us additional faith. So getting your Divine Architect is solely reliant on, um, on, on desert folklore. And as you can see, we're only getting about four cities around it versus every city is going to have a Saguba um, and be rather good at that. Plus, Reyna's abilities here, oops, Reyna's abilities actually give us more gold. Rip Trader, yeah, that sucks. I don't think I'm going to be able to protect that, am I? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I was going to have the scout go and try to protect it. Could I catch up? Probably not. It's probably just dying and we'll, rather than buy a unit to, tr to, to in you know, try to protect it i think we'll just buy a new one we'll be a little bit sad we got our envoy out of it so it's okay all right we hit enough for our golden age which is quite good um five turns on current so let's make sure that's timing out that is so in five turns we can start our saguba what do we want to do before then probably just run some holy site prayers no i don't really want to get our uh profit this era it's too much era score so i guess i should have put on the um settler policy Four turns on craftsmanship. Why don't I get a quick builder then? We're going to need it eventually. And then we'll start working on settlers once we put the policy in. I don't need that many cities here, so. Faith goes towards great people, Grandmaster Chapel, and Monumentality Golden Ages. If I declare war, can I get the trader back? Yes, but then I lose my two envoys there, and that was the whole point of it. So I don't think that's worth it. But yes, this is sad. Nice. Lived. We could take a shot here, but it doesn't do that much damage. I would like that first promo on this dude. Nah, too risky. Oh. Oh. I did see barbs here. I want to be careful with this river crossing. I don't think I want to be exposed in the middle, middle of the desert. I'd rather be right here. This guy's mobility is pretty good, and I, I, I don't want to get eaten by barbs. That, that guy has a lot of stuff um, to find. Again, we're hard-teching this. 
It's only four turns. I'd like to get to political philosophy as soon as possible. You think he's eyeing an attack against me? Could be. Certainly could be. How would we defend ourselves if that were to be the case? Not well. Is the answer. Why not settle the coast? So at this point, you I wouldn't fault you for just stopping your scout and not exploring anymore because we're already two over on Aeroscore and we only have three more uh, turns to go. With him being in mind, I guess we should bring these guys up. I might not lose my trader here. Nice. We kept it. Suzer and Levy Army. Yeah, that's an interesting option. I'm going to be a little cautious with my... It appears not to be the scar of a meteorite. Exploring. But a deep As to avoid unnecessary era score. <laughs> I was like, there can't be anything down here. It's just more desert. Uh, had we had the double XP, this guy would probably be level three by now and could actually help with a war. 20 combat strength on your scout is great. Well. <laughs> he said famous last words, Ingley. Right, two more on this. I know, I know. Don't I learn? <laughs> yeah, I have Sahara gives three combat strength. Or no? Wait, where did you see combat strength? And then why did you convince me of it? <laughs> no. No. Oh, did I say that? If I said that, I didn't mean to. I was making it up. Just making it all up. Nice. Okay, so that should that should keep us safe. Um, Matthias just declared on Hojo, or Hojo declared on Matthias actually. Uh, so that's great. That that should keep him well distracted uh, while I try to do uh, you know what I want to do. So this is so dang close. And I'm probably going to be in a position to need another one of these soon anyways with other barb camps and stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy a uh, warrior. This is one. That is one. So I could start on settlers or I could just run a holy site prayer now that we're at the end of it. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'll skip the settler policy for now while we build our Saguba. And then we'll get our settlers. Buy the horses and sell to both AI. Uh, I don't hate that, actually. Especially because uh, this is a third ring tile. Can't afford it right now, but we will, and I will. Because uh, that'll give us another resource to send. How do you determine your government plaza early placement? I think I'm the wrong guy to ask. I am really bad about doing go government plaza stuff. Um. <laughs> so usually my answer is poorly um, and wrongly. Uh, but in here, in here, it was early, like, especially with a, with a sieve like Mansa Musa who needs some pretty intense district planning. I think placing it and planning it this early, makes a lot of sense. Hey, Rod, how you doing? Yeah. Ideal. Like if you have good campuses, make sure it gives you good gold and culture. If you have good culture, make sure it gives you good science and, and whatever, you know, just make sure it's focusing on economies that you're going to struggle for. All right, so there's our first Golden Age, which comes with its own brand new trade route, which is exciting. Money, if it does not bring and we tech currency. I'm going to let that project finish before getting it. Um, everybody else will probably pop into uh, the 
Exodus of the Evangelists, Golden Age versus We Want Monumentality. Free Inquiry is pretty interesting. We're about to get our uh, campuses down, and I think that 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 could be perfectly reasonable. But the expansion of Monumentality and what it's going to do for us, um, especially with a decent faith economy already, is uh, I think where we're at. So that's the route we're going to go. We could already buy. So we're 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 at five of twenty one. Our food isn't crazy. So you, you, your your Magnus argument does stand a little bit. We could faith buy our trader, send it to Tokyo, or Sendai, uh, and it's only one fifty per settler. So we'll lose some population in order to do it. But I think we almost lose it here. Four turns. I need to buy and place this. I think I want to attack that Petra next. We're going really low defense, and that's because of the war that started. You know what? Maybe mining first so we can get that diamond online and, and start chopping things. And Maybe walls here. Okay, maybe not directly to Petra. We need, still need to set up the city, but we do want it sooner rather than later. Yeah, much e much easier to regain pop in smaller city. That's what I was thinking too, is buying our settlers here rather than our cap. Might as well move into the city center and heal. And now we can start exploring again. Remember that guy's a super scout, so these, uh, these hill slash forest movements are no big deal. Yeah, it's a super weird Pangea map. It feels much more like continents to me. Like the fact that this is a gigantic freaking continent and like no map. Like there's there's one, two mountains on the whole map. Kumasi has a couple. They're they're greedy. They're they're keeping them, but they're like seriously like five. I'm seeing like five mount mountains, which is just crazy. So we'll finish our project. Get our profit. Okay, so he grabbed that. Not much I can do about this. We may have to fight him. I don't know. That really sucks for a Diplo win, though. All right, so we finished the project. We grabbed the profit. Good to go there. Probably don't need to do anything with it quite yet. Maybe, maybe mess with this scout a bit. It's always fun. One more turn and we can get this tile improvement. Three turns on that. And Saguba time. So it's plus five. Not the greatest in the world. But we build it in two turns. Cross that river. Again, there's no there. Like normally, you, you your inclination is to scout the flatland, but here we might as well take the vision that we get from being up on top of things and meet Cardiff. Cardiff, I know, I know, I know. Don't tell me. I do it on purpose now. Okay, so there's our first tile. Uh, one of them was train a galley. What was the other one? Construct an encampment and train a galley. Neither of which I'm really on the horizon of doing. Aw. I thought with the combat strength we could finish him. At least we got our political philosophy boost. That is a gigantic deal at this stage of the game. So we're going to hit political philosophy in nine. So turn 55 political philosophy. That's not too bad. It's probably about standard. Uh, largely because we got the Kumasi thing going on. Okay, 
So now that we have our Saguba, we can faith buy our market. So it's a lot of our faith, uh, but it's really good. And then I can buy two more uh, traders here with our faith. Um, I might even work, think about building settlers, even though it's slow. And add, a, add an inherent penalty. It gives me something to do with my policy um, that I think is decent next turn. So I think I will. I only need a couple more cities. I may have to get more now that he took this guy. Again, asserting this and settling this I think is really important. Nubula, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. You at war with anybody? No. I think that's probably fine. Um, so let's spend our faith. Grab the market. Grab trader number one. Grip trader number two. And then, yeah, we that's true. We could run commercial hub projects and buy settlers. I don't mind that. And just start running these projects. Four turns. I think I'm going to build at least one of these settlers. Nice. Get an archery boost and everything. I need to kill this before the uh, Zanzibar's warriors come and do it. So I'm going to get on that. Can improve that uh, diamonds. It's faith by them, a builder too. <laughs> a tense map just got tenser. Not to be confused with Tensor's floating disc for you D&D &D fans. All right, again, Super Scout squeaking through here. Doesn't look like I'm going to find anything. Um, being that this certainly isn't going to lead me to a new continent... And therefore, more things. I'm going to go down here. By the city. Oh, by the builder in the city with the Saguba. You're, uh, you're absolutely right. I was valuing the time to move things around. But you're absolutely right. Because I want that irrigation boost. I think I'm actually going to go get that uh, plantation soon. You can go find iron, I suppose, if we wanted to do something with our Monte Calo Cal Cavalry. All right. Being that I think I have the barbarian situation under control, uh, we can actually go back into survey and try to make a super duper scout, which would be fun. And then I'm going to go for the settler policy for just at least one or two. Our faith economy isn't insane yet. We need to get these cities down, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, I also need to buy out to this tile um, to place the government plaza. But the farm gives us the irrigation boost plus housing. Uh, you. Interested? Sure. Oh, and we finally found a new continent. Hey, Mithrock. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. I'm going to take the faith off the Tokyo one and then probably send the other to Zanzibar. See ya, Fenway. Thanks for stopping in, man. Yeah, we can look to trade some diamonds. Zoomed. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Nice. Six more gold per turn. I'll take that. Seems good. Good suggestion. Thank you. Thank you. Zune, how you doing, buddy? What's happening? I'm sorry for bailing on our... Uh, you know I'm sorry. I, I, I probably don't have to say it, but I'm sorry for, for missing our co-stream last Friday. Are you up for it this Friday? I hope. Hmm. 
<laughs> no, <laughs> my mistakes will haunt me forever. <laughs> awesome, man. I look forward to it as well. All right, second governor promotion. Again, we're looking to double the adjacency bonus of our Saguba. So we do that for five more gold per turn. No need to found the religion yet. So not even turn 50, and we're already over 50 gold per turn. Uh, only five of it is from trade deals, minus one and then plus six. So most of that just from doing Saguba things. Obviously, this uh, little bit of gold here is nice from these tiles as well. So the benefits of waiting to found your religion are plentiful. Um, waiting to found your religion allows you to uh, basically launch an inquisition on any pre-spread faith. Like Matthias, if he comes down and spreads Catholicism to him, every city that we have that has a holy site immediately adopts our founded religion. So it would flip any Catholic uh, converts back to being ours. Um, and there's really just no benefit, right? Like we're going to grab choral music. I guess, I guess there's an argument because of choral music. Um, and that's going to be our belief in order to uh, try to try to stay afloat in this game culturally and things. And we do have two, sh well, we have one and a half shrines. So we're missing out on two culture per turn. But other than that, there's not a whole lot of benefit to actually founding it yet. If you found it, you get more faith from monumentality. Mm -mm. So that's the thing about founding a religion is it, it, it doesn't have a direct faith input like your uh, or impact like your like your pantheon does. There are zero of the main abilities that give you more faith. The building gives you more faith, but we're not even to temples yet. Um, and then there's one of the small beliefs that either makes your uh, holy order makes things cheaper to buy. So that's technically faith, although not directly. Um, and then there's the uh, um, lay ministry that gives you extra faith and culture for holy sites and things. So we're missing out on like one faith and two culture per turn. I mean, 20% culture is not bad. Don't get me wrong. I may found it in a second just because of that. Um, but there's not a ton of benefit to just settling it right now. And I think that that faith that we're getting, we save by being able to basically reconvert everybody. Let's sneak through here. First game in a while, we haven't really had to worry about appeal and Earth Goddess. It feels like, it feels like I'm always doing Earth Goddess things. Oh, there's another camp. Let's go deal with that. The only other thing I can think of to do here is mine or start getting uh, farms. Really need that lumber mill tech. Our science is bad. I need a campus. Yeah. Crazy good science on his part at this stage of the game. Here's where we're going to have stuff to deal with. It's actually sending this guy for that camp, but doesn't seem to be my problem. That one definitely is. Yeah, save the builders till the pyramids. That's certainly something that's interesting. Um, we're, we're a little low on science right now. Pronounce the Zulu city by that scout. Um, I'm gun gun to love you. <laughs> How'd I do? Keep this guy going north while this guy stays south. Turn 50 save. Thank you, Annie's boobs. And another one up there. Um, 
do I get to that? I'd really like to. Again, getting our golden ages going, kind of a big deal. Two turns on irrigation, then we get to do that. All right, I'll see if I can snipe that. I doubt it. I think the city state will clear it. Press love doesn't do much. Japan's ready to friend. That is true. This guy is not a super scout. He's just kind of a above average scout. Surprised this city's still only pop one. Yeah, he's got nice campuses and things already. Why can't we have nice things? Speaking of nice things, you guys are nice. Everybody watching over there on YouTube. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Thank you, Jackal. Just signing off, man. Speaking of people I love, thank you, my friend. Thank you for the tier three. Welcome back for 13 months. Love you, brother. Dude, less same. Than three, less than three, less than three. <laughs> same. Thank you so much for the support, my friend. I appreciate it. And then thank you guys for watching on YouTube. Don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic and come say hi to us in, in person on the internet. I promise we're going to finish this Monster Music game. I promise. My word to you. Thanks for watching.